Hi friends, welcome back. Today we've got another Azure Standard unboxing. If you're unfamiliar with Azure Standard, they're an excellent company that does a lot of things in bulk, a lot of amazing produce and bulk wheat berries or things like that. Or you can order smaller quantities and you can order once a month and there's generally a drop location around you. And so the, the driver will come drop all the things at one central location and you'll come and you'll pick up your order. And we have really had amazing luck with Azure Standard. We love them. We've been doing it about a year now. It's been a really great way for us living in a rural area to have access to some of the really great whole foods, organic selection, some really fantastic things that we normally wouldn't have access to otherwise, um, living in a teeny tiny little town where the only thing is Walmart. <laughs> so uh, we do have an Aldi, but this, this gives us a very much a wider selection and we are so thankful for them. If you're interested in checking it out, I will put my link down below so you can see what Azure Standard is all about. But without further ado, let us dive into what I got. So I've ordered their juice grade apples before. These are just Fuji apples and this is 20 pounds of apples. So I am very excited. We love their apples. They tend to keep a fairly long time um, especially if you refrigerate them and store them well. These look absolutely beautiful. We definitely will be sharing some apples with friends and making some applesauce and eating fresh. These look great. And if you've been with us for a while, you know my daughter, Michaela, has several videos out where we made applesauce together. And those typically, the ones we make are low sugar or sugar-free because she has headaches really bad. And that's one of the things that we need to do to really keep our headaches regulated is really cut her sugar intake. So if you're interested in those applesauce recipes, I will link those videos down below so you can see. She, I think she has a strawberry applesauce one and then we just have a regular one. So I'm looking forward to having all these apples. It's always super fun. We have some apple trees on our land, but y'all, we've only been here for two years. And so the apple trees are babies still. So it's going to be a while till we get a really good robust harvest from those. Um, that's my daughter Taylor's project <laughs> is working on those. All right, let's see what else we have here. We have this box of frozen. I believe this is cherries. Yes, Bing cherries. Now we really love their frozen berries and cherries and stuff because A lot of times berries go bad so fast and we don't get through, like if you buy a huge thing of them, we don't get through them fast enough, but they're frozen. We have some frozen blueberries in the freezer. We have some of their frozen strawberries and now frozen cherries. We just love being able to scoop them out and they last a really long time frozen and they're still delicious and super nutritious. So this was a special request from my daughter, Michaela, because she was excited and wanted some cherries. I don't know what she wants to do with them, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> oh, this is a lot of fruit this time. Um, this is gonna be a huge box of oranges because it is time, it's the season. So this is 40 pounds of oranges. Other than marmalade, I don't really know the best way to preserve these. So we're probably gonna do a whole lot of sharing with friends. Look at that. <laughs> they are beautiful. Oh, they're all so lovely. Look at this. Y'all, Azure Produce does not disappoint. I know, and I say this every time, that there are people that live far away from the distribution center that have trouble getting the produce at its freshest peak. Um, but I also know that Azure is really good about replacing that for them, but I have never had a problem with their produce. It is beautiful and delicious. 100% love all their produce, which is why in this order, I have so much of their produce. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Y'all, so the way Azure works is 
you keep adding things to your cart all month long and then you check out and I don't ever remember what I add to my cart. <laughs> it's fun. It's like a surprise every time I get an order. <laughs> and then I just stop adding once I get to my budget. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, what do we have in here? Ooh, I know what this is. I decided to try some of their bell peppers. Look at these. We are several months away from getting our own bell peppers here, and we've used up all of last season's harvest, so. Oh, look how beautiful and big these are. Yes, I am excited. And then we have the red bell peppers here that look equally as amazing. These are huge. Mm, these would make really good stuffed peppers because of how big they are. Yay, Azure. What else do I have over here? I have one more box to open. These are, if, if you've been watching, you know I have been buying a lot of their wheat berries because we have been transitioning to all freshly ground wheat. And these are really the best things to store your wheat in. I mean, these are sturdy five gallon buckets. And then these are the gamma lids. And what you do with the gamma lids is you pop them on the bucket and then they just unscrew really easily. So they make it easy to where you don't have to be prying up and down every time you need to get in the bucket. So these are fantastic food storage options. But I needed a couple more just I want to have more than one bucket. I want to have two buckets of each type of grain at any given moment so that we have one that we're pulling out of and then one in storage. So when that one's one empty, we can get it refilled. So I've got some extra buckets. Here's my last box. All right. I got some yeast because like I said, we've been doing a whole lot of bread making lately and we've been going through yeast a lot, really quickly. So this is a really good yeast. Generally speaking, once I open yeast, I will put it in the fridge to store because it will go bad It'll, after a little while and it stores much longer in the fridge. I believe this says you can even put it in the freezer if you have an extra bag of it if you just want to keep an extra bag on hand and you want to put one in the freezer and have one in the fridge that's a good way to store <gasps> semi-sweet chocolate chips these were a little more expensive than I would normally spend on chocolate chips but I wanted to try them we're trying to get back to some really natural ingredients and these are all made with organic cane sugar and organic cocoa, fair trade chocolate, all the things. And so even though they were a little more expensive, I wanted to give them a try. We don't do chocolate chips all that often. So for a sweet treat every once in a while, I would rather invest in the better ingredients the healthier ingredients. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, y'all! My honey! Well, I mean, I guess at least it didn't get on anything else. Oh, I'm heartbroken though. <laughs> oh, my honey has uh, busted and leaked. I don't know if just the seal was broken and it just has been leaking out. This honey is so delicious, this orange blossom honey. And I don't hold this against Azure at all. I, I should, I should, I, I'm heartbroken, but I should make the point. I don't hold this against Azure at all because anytime you're shipping so many things, there's just bound to something to go wrong. So actually this will be a good opportunity for me to show you what the customer service um, is like. So we'll walk through together getting a replacement for our honey and seeing how that process goes because I've heard their customer service is amazing. I've never gotten a firsthand experience with having to replace something. So we're going to see how that works. 
so that'll be fun. All right, now that that drama is done, <laughs> it's fine, that's fine. Like I said, I, anytime you're shipping something, once it leaves your warehouse, really, you lose control over a lot of things and a lot of things can happen and people make mistakes and a jar of honey is a jar of honey. So I'm not overly concerned about it. I have the utmost confidence that Azure is going to take care of it. Um, and we'll see, I guess you'll see the update at the end <laughs> to see if they do and how fast they do. So it'll be a good opportunity for them to show off and flex their customer service muscles. All right, so this other thing was a special request by my daughter, Taylor, and it is a huge bag of instant mashed potatoes. Now we have potatoes, we've gotten their potatoes, their potatoes are amazing. If you get their huge 50 pound thing of them, it's such a good deal and they are delicious. But for a quick meal, my daughter often loves just to whip up some instant mashed potatoes and that is why we have this here. You know, ideally in the perfect world, we would all be cooking from scratch all day, every day, but raise your hand if that's actually you and that actually happens because it is not me. <laughs> so sometimes just better choices are better choices and you can't always have the best choice all the time. So I do like to have some convenience foods on hand to make lunch easier for us, to make life easier for us. But I have been trying to really make some of those convenience foods better for us. So we're trying Azure's instant mashed potatoes. You add one and a half cups of liquid milk water stock heated to just below boiling. Then you add one cup of potato flakes. You whisk slowly and let set for a minute and then serve and taste it. So there you go. Um, this looks like it'll be a quick, easy option. We'll see. And I will let you know in the next Azure haul if we really loved them or not. That's, I normally get a teeny tiny little bag if I don't know, but I'm fairly sure that she's gonna love these and go through these really quickly. So I got a five pound bag. You can buy bigger bags of them, but again, I like with the chocolate chips, I just bought a little bag. Normally, if I'm stocking up on something, I will get the big bags, but I always try smaller first. And then, y'all, I've been wanting to get these onions for a while. I was getting every month the big, huge boxes of mixed produce. And the only reason I have it in the past two months is just because I ran out of budget before I could add it. Um, but one of the things I consistently loved were the huge, delicious onions. So I was like, I'm, I can't get the huge box of produce, but I can add some onions. So here are my onions. And this is 10 pounds of onions and they will last a long time and they will be delicious. And we are so excited. Um, my onions didn't do well in the garden last year. So hopefully this year we get a big haul of onions, but we are out of our own fresh onions. So these are it and they are delicious and they are massive. Let me just show you. Look at these beauties. These are huge, huge, and they are so good. All right. That is this month's Azure haul. And I am overall really incredibly pleased. Once again, the produce looks phenomenal. And I know that always feels like you're rolling the dice when you order produce from a place like this, but, but I always have really good luck. So like I said, the only thing that I was a little sad about was my honey because I love their honey. <laughs> I'm going to be sad to be missing it, but I am really confident that Azure customer service is going to take care of us. And so I guess let's just fast forward to the update. So just an update on the honey. I went ahead and submitted a picture to the Azure returns department. And within 24 hours, I heard back from them and had a refund. So I was very pleased with that process. Customer service was amazing. That was probably one of the easiest refund processes I've ever been through. So still highly recommend Azure Standard. It was fantastic. Accidents happen, but they definitely made it right. So two thumbs way up for their return process.